Hey and welcome, Miss Kira Speaks. Before we get started, I ask that you watch the videos till the end, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Guys, listen, today it is officially two months that I have been on YouTube. Two months for you girls. This is video number 43, and I just want to say I appreciate all you guys. Keep hanging in there with me. I'm working on getting comfortable perfecting these videos. I've just ordered a new ring light and microphone and all this type of stuff. So hang in there with me. But we are here for another episode of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, season 18, episode five, titled Speak of the Devil. I think that's the title. So the episode opens and we are still on night number four. Treasure's in the kitchen, she's pissed off. She says she's happy she's not drunk. Um, Molly looks like he's upstairs packing. Um, and Treasure's like he's testing her. I mean, the girl is going off and I really don't blame her. I don't even know how she puts up with Molly at all. Um, and she's with the group downstairs and they're at their hunger. They're asking, where's the pizza? Um, so now they're focusing on, on Nori and I'm like, <sighs> they're focusing on him and his need to be in control. And I was like, I already know where this is going is what I wrote in my notes. And Dr. Ish says he's seeing classic defense mechanisms of deflection and displacement. And he reminds us that even though it's night number four, it's like day 18 for them because they had to quarantine prior to. Let's not forget. Um, he says that Nori isn't com comfortable with confronting what's really going on and has got him frustrated. So Neri tries to get Nori to go outside because he's growing more and more irritated by the minute. Um... And I even forgot to mention, he asked for his phone, which is why he seemed to be escalating because nobody would get the man his phone to call for the pizza and they were hungry and whatever. Um, he's getting loud and Neri tries to settle him. So in the confessional, he says that Neri is his voice of reason, but she also stands by his side, even when she thinks he's wrong. And this is why he's in love. Nori getting a little mushy with us this episode, but that's okay. We like mushy. That's what we're here for. So it's finally day five and the focus is communication. Neri didn't sleep well last night. Nori won't say what's bothering him at the moment. He keeps it bottled up is what. I can't remember which one of them said, but both of them know that's clearly a problem that he has. So outside, Molly barely speaks to Treasure Dr. Ish says communication is key. He goes to talk to Treasure and she tells him that it's not a relationship that she works. She wants to work out. Um, this is news to Dr. Ish. She says he's extremely manipulative. Treasure reveals to us that Molly poured her a big shot the other day when they were supposed to be doing that uh, music video shoot. So we see her saying she can't um and she points out to dr ish but that she points out to dr ish that he complains she has a drinking problem and he knows he's trying to control it but here we are so treasure brings up an ex-girlfriend of molly's and dr ish is like you know the, this whole thing isn't fair to her she says she's scared of him dr ish asks why and we see molly and he's in the kitchen and i'm wondering if he's hearing all this because it looks like he's ear hustling so she feels like he's the devil then why be with him treasure but i'm gonna let her finish he did hear and he walks in and dr ish sends him on his way he's like nope this is private conversation. So Molly in his confessional wants to know why. She thinks he's the devil. Um, Treasure continues to talk to Dr. Ish, but she doesn't really focus on one thing in particular um, that makes her feel that way. Um, excuse me. But Dr. Ish sees Molly eavesdropping as 
on a private conversation as a huge red flag. Molly's outside telling people and Dr. Ish thinks this day will be helpful for treasure and it is all couples to the front driveway. So we see that there's a spread of go-karts and go-kart parts. Um, Dr. Ish says that this is him and Judge's favorite day. The first half of boot camp is all about breaking things down, breaking it apart, stirring up all kinds of stuff inside. Today is day five. This is the turn. They start to get those tools they showed up for. Um, so they've got coveralls, they get those on, and they're going to work as a couple to assemble and decorate an electric car. Only one of them can touch the tools and the parts, but they're not allowed to look at the direct, the uh, instructions. The, I don't know if I wrote that right. Oh, is that right there? Right. Okay, one of them is only one of them is allowed to touch it. No, it reads directions. Um, the other partner will sit on the bench and look at the instructions. If you just read the rest of your notes, it all makes sense, girl. And they will guide them from a distance. They have one hour to get this done. So the instructors are Nori, Molly, Moni, and Brock. Um, and with the exception of Brock, these are like the stronger, bigger personalities of the couples, at least in my opinion. So this type of exercise always gets interested. And Brock is happy he is given the instructions, okay? The Amber got to listen to him. And Amber says she can't put anything together. So... And the confessional Moni is laughing because Molly and Treasure have been having communication issues. Now they got to build a go-kart. So she says it's going to be like the Flintstones car. Probably. So as the couple start to try and assemble their carts, Dr. Is tells us the two big reasons that couples can't, can't resolve issues is because one, they don't listen to each other. Hmm. And two, they don't stay on topic. <sighs> Dr. Ish don't be saying nothing more to her. I am single now, but it is all about working on me at this point. And that for honestly, I like to watch some of these shows for that. Like they're couple centered, but you can learn a lot of tools to work on your dog on self because that's most important. Anyway, back to the show. Um, there are rules for fighting fair and they have been violating them since day one. Um, if they can't communicate effectively, it won't be just the go-karts that fall apart. Facts. So everyone seems pretty um, calm so far and giving and receiving directions. Like nobody's upset, nobody's angry. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. And Treasure and her confessional says she does not think she's going to make it um, to day 10 with Molly. I Treasure girl, we are... We're right there with you. Um, then we see Mo Molly, start to Molly start to sound irritated. And his confessional, we see why. He's stuck on being called the devil. He doesn't know if he can be with treasure. Amber and Brock, they seem to be doing well. Um, and I think Amber really likes Brock being in charge, even though she acts like she doesn't. Um, Dr. Ish calls 15 minutes. Neri is frustrated because Nori is not being helpful, as helpful as she like. Um, which seems he's not helpful at home. So, um, Moni and Tuff are struggling a little bit, but Moni says they have communication problems at home and the time is up. Dr. Ish gives them a break, but they got to keep their coveralls on. I just like these people make being uncomfortable because there was really no reason in this particular exercise to keep it on. The other one with the balls, I get it, but fine. So they all meet in the kitchen because you know they love a good meet up in the kitchen to eat and talk about the challenge. And Nori says, you know, he's a hag for the show. He says a lot more, but that's what they're basically talking about. They're talking about the um, the challenge and what they just did. So Molly is outside and he's talking to Nori and I was annoyed because it seemed that Nori um, was entertaining him at first, but in the confessional, not so much. He says Molly is asking, asking and answering his own questions. 
he was um just rambling to the point where nori goes to look at a darn lizard is that a lizard i said yeah he admits he sees all the time i see them all the time and he goes over there the lizard bounces like the lizard leaves the li and then nori's like doggone it so now he gotta go back because molly just continues talking and it was crazy because at some point he was um accusing treasure of wanting camera time um but dr ish and judge they are watching it all and they say he's worried about his image and that he can't take criticism not a hint spot on as always it always spot on i do molly irks my nerves he really gets under my skin he really does um charger comes to talk to molly and he gets up to walk away and how can she call him the devil? She says his spirit is ugly, in her opinion. It is treasure. He knows it is. Um, he calls her crazy. Tells her to get out of his face. And... What did I say here? I don't know what I was trying to say, but basically... He finally, I guess, decides to sit with her, but then he calls everybody else over to support his point and listen to the conversation. So Dr. Ish peeps what he's doing. Um, he asks the group if they think he's the devil. Um, she explains, this is why, the manipulation. Um, he's like, have I ever put hands on you? No. Have I ever made you feel threatened? You have. How? She tries to explain. She says he... Um, she says, he always says, make him look good. Um, but Molly got to be in control. He calls her fake. He calls her a liar. She makes him look bad. Blah, 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 blah. He walks away. I don't really care. Let me continue. So Tuff tries to go and reason with Molly. You got to make her change without trying i was like make her change he says without trying to control her so i gave him that one dr ish and judge that you know they're always watching they say this is you know it's just foolishness they're watching the foolishness unfold is what i wrote um they point out that no one is hearing each other no one's listening one is talking nobody's getting soothed because they're the moral to the story is they're not listening. They said a bunch of other stuff, but they weren't listening. So she said she was going to go talk to Molly. They didn't want to... I think I got an eyelash, y'all. Um, they didn't want to stop the program. So she goes to talk to Molly as Ish is going to continue on with things. So he calls all the couples to the front driveway. So we see Molly talk to the judge. And he is so worried about people's perception. Like, seriously. So he just talked and talked and talked. But it didn't appear that he listened to anything the judge had to say. Um, so I didn't really take much from the conversation. The most important thing was that judge was saying he is in charge of how he feels. And letting her make him upset means she's in charge of, um, she's in charge, she's in control of how he feels. And you know he has control issues. So with him, he will at least try to give the appearance so he can make it seem like he's in control. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm going to finish that after I get over here and edit and upload. Now is my eye messed up? Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. So we're finally meet up with the couples back on the driveway. Um, Dr. Ish says, building relationships is a lot like building a car. It takes a team. Every member has a, every member has a part. The go-karts have one seat. So we have Nori, Moni, and Brock handled the instructions earlier. And now they're in the driver's seat. But there's a catch. Nori mentioned it, um, mentioned the blindfolds in the kitchen when they were talking about the exercise and I didn't bring it up. Was he, he, like I said, he was talking about a whole bunch of stuff about the show and I didn't really think that they was going to blindfold them and put them in the car. I don't know why, because they do do it on other shows. Um, but he was right and Nori in the confessional was like, I can drive. So they must go through the course two times. Their partner will guide them from the staircase with a the megaphone. That's going to be fun. Um, 
Molly joins the group and Treasure says she'll put her emotions to the side and kudos to her because I don't know if I can do it. Like I said, like it's all I can do to even bring him up on this show, but I'm doing a review or a recap. So we'll talk about him and we're all starting to love Treasure. So there you go. Um, Molly is so in his head that he can't, he can't even get anywhere. Like he's blindfolded and he's like stuck in one spot for the longest and Judge and Ish were just watching him like it's crazy. Amber and Brock, they were struggling with the exercise um, because these men have a hard time paying attention. Brock seemed like he was having a hard time like listening. So Neri and Nori also struggle, but part of their problem is Neri was having troubles with her lefts and her rights like on the on the quick quick like if she thought about it but you got to give these directions really quick so nori crashes she she said she was later on she was like she was, he couldn't see she was cracking up so moni and tough they struggle for a while and then moni finally says that she decides to just really listen to tune in to only him and to listen to what he's saying which is what's the whole entire purpose of the drill and she wins so Dr. Ish gives him a break. Um, evaluations will be later. We gather back in the kitchen. I told you the kitchen is that spot. So, well, the ladies are in the kitchen. So Amber talks to Treasure about calling Molly a devil. Treasure says he does some devilish ish. Moni can relate. She spoke in a previous episode about an abusive relationship she was in. So she basically says manipulation is the devil. The guys in the are the guys are in another room and they're talking and Nori says treasure is wife material. And you know, he's trying to say nice things. And Molly's like, nope, nope, don't even say that. I don't even know why he's saying that. He's just totally disagreeing because Molly is a whole stick in the mud and he just wants everybody to be on his side. And if he ain't fooling with treasure, then nobody else should be because he's a whole child. So Moni asked Treasure if the drinking when she got first got there, is that you or was he helping you do that? And she's like, yeah. And she you knows she feels comfortable talking to the ladies. And we saw that she told Dr. Ish, like I mentioned it earlier, about him trying to get her to drink the other day. So we see he has a part in it, even though he complains. So behind the scenes, Ish and Judge say it's good that Treasure is talking Um because a lot of women feel like they have to become somebody else to fit into somebody's life. Absolutely so true. Not necessary. They can't get in with your program. Then you need to find somebody else. They're not for you. I'm not going to get on my soapbox because this video is running longer than usual. In the kitchen, Amber says she knows the treasure cares about Molly. And that he cares about her too. I don't know about all of that. But... The guys join them in the kitchen and Nori encourages Molly to sit next to Treasure. But Molly decides he wants her to sit on his lap. And Moni's face says it all. And then Molly's like, oh, he loves her. And then they kiss. And Moni says, it does not seem authentic to her. Shoot, it was darn near uncomfortable to watch. Like, ugh. So Moni says, it's too much too soon that she's doing it to please him. And Molly, he doesn't want to hear that. So she says... He's not, she's not trying to make, Moni says she's not trying to make her feel bad. She's just being realistic and there's pain in her face. Moni feels like he's putting on a show. Molly, of course, is defensive and disagreeing with her. So Manny, Moni asked her, she's like, why are you so uncomfortable in your face, Treasure? Like, why? Right now, why? So she asked if, she, if she's compromising her feelings because she wants everything to be peaches and cream. The short answer was yes, she is. She is upset. She did not want to hug and kiss. She did exactly what Moni was saying that she was doing. So this all sends Moni to a bad place. So she starts crying and she leaves the table. She rejoins the group a little bit later. And I was really hoping that um, Tuff went to go check on her and we just didn't see it because I just had a problem with that. Like you just go and let her walk away and cry and that's how we're gonna have a relationship. So she comes back in and she talks to Neri who understood totally what was going on in Brock. And then Molly talks about the program designed to break you down. I mean, he is just so full of shit. <sighs> then somehow he and Treasure start arguing. You was just in a good place. Now y'all arguing. So Molly just needs to work on himself. That's it. That's what I said in my notes. He just needs to work on himself. Um, being with him for three weeks has been too much for Treasure and she starts crying. And he says stop something like stop it with that drunk shit. And Moni jumps up because she's had enough. She's like, listen, st 
stop 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 like we're not gonna do this she sends molly on his way and she's like enough like i'm not anybody's side but this is enough it's toxic it's unhealthy and she tells treasure you know you don't have to from this point out you don't ever have to make yourself small for anyone else Moni has them words too. So it's evaluation time. And Dr. Ish tells him they don't resolve conflict well. We knew that. Uh, he gets some, he's like, here, we're going to get some teaching tools finally. This is, you know, what they, kind of what they came there for. Because nobody really want to do all the, the tearing down stuff. We only want to build up. That's just the human nature. So um, he tells them these are the rules of engagement. Rule number one, same team. Rule number two, same play. So that means same topic, argue about one thing at a time. And Amber admits that this, in the confessional, that this is a problem for them. Rule number three, stay in the game. That means don't get up, walk away. Rule number four, LUV. Let it go, Nori says. No, Nori, that would be L-I-G. So listen, understand, and evaluate. All the seasons we get this. The, valid the validation is super important. He has Moni and Tuff practice this, just repeating what she says so that he understands he validates. Um, rule number five, spike the ball. Celebrate the small wins. If you argued, you resolved, celebrate it. Life is short. So he sends them to go rest but they're back in their favorite spot the kitchen and they're toasting and nori says um i think they toasted and nori says when the doctor says to address something when it bothers him at that moment like that's a huge problem for him we've seen him say it we've seen neri say it um and then he talks to Neri about what she said because she was said something, I think, in the first episode about she's popping too when she could pay the bills. So that bothered him. She lets him know that he's strict. It's a lot of conversation back and forth, but I'm just getting to the meat and potatoes because this is running too long. So she says he's too strict. He disagrees. Moni's like, you're not using LUV. So Nori's problem is Neri hangs out with single women. Like he was saying it wasn't necessarily the problem of but you still kind of not trusting her. So it makes it her problem. Um, Moni calls double standard because look at the people that Nori hangs out with. He says he doesn't want her to ever feel like that again. She is his best friend and he does not want to cry. So he gets up and walks away. And that's where the episode ends. And that was a good ending. It's better than the last ones, which means we should not end up back on, what is this, day five? We shouldn't end up on night five at the beginning of episode six, like we've been doing in the last episode, because people have been bickering and fighting. Yay! High five, guys. So... I kind of wish that they, they meaning Dr. Ish and Judge Toller had delved a little bit more into that conversation that Moni was having with Treasure. I feel like that was super important. She understands on a deeper level and I feel like they missed a moment with that. But then again, what do we know? It's reality TV. They don't show everything. So maybe that was just, just it. Other than that, great episode as usual. How'd you guys feel about it? Who do you think should stay together? Who do you think should go their separate ways? Put it in the comment section for me. If you have made it to this point, put a little car, a little go-kart something, something emoji in the comments. While, are, while you are here, please watch some of my other content. Thank you, thank you. Before you go, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you. Peace.